What's really good, guys, man? It's your boy, Harry, FFL Commissioner. We got my boys in the building. Fellow FFL players, Mr. Sherry in the building. Year two champion of the FFL. And then we got soon-to-be champion, Mr. Jug <laughs> on top. Man, what's going on, guys? What's up, man? Hello, Heather. Mr. Heather, how you doing, brother? Man, man listen, man, we, we are literally within two weeks away until draft day man i mean this is this is a you know make it or break it thing man this is where you know obviously for you and me sherry something a little add-on to our shelf shall say right absolutely Jug, absolutely man you can capture that first that first title thing right there man i'm That's trying fun, man, man. Hey, man. Last, hey. last, Listen. last year that was uh terrible for me is my worst season ever in all leagues yeah, Jug, what happened last season? What was going oh, yeah, on? What ha- yeah, Jug, yeah, what, what happened last season? I forgot. <laughs> bad, I missed on scouting every, uh, yep, every <laughs> single draft pick I missed on. Najee <laughs> Harris, disappointed. DeAndre Swift was injured all season. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't even, Deontay Johnson was terrible. Oh, was right. just, every, every draft pick was just terrible. I mean, Najee, I mean, how do you think your boy going to do this year, man? He'll be solid, man. We have a better line this year. Oh, we yeah? redid a whole line, all new starters. So let's see how we do. Better off. Now, now, do you think, uh, you know, obviously Najee with the new offense, do you think they're going to be more pass heavy or you think they're going to try to push him more? It's going to be a balance, man. It's going to be not. So? Yeah, it's going to be a balance. Pick it. It's his second year. They're not going to be too pass heavy. Um, right. But at the same time, we have the receivers. To Is throw it still to uh, Matt Canada or whoever? Oh, oh, man, he's terrible. Yeah, it's still yeah. Matt Canada. So let's see how well. He's we like one of the only guys I know, like name wise. He's, he's so bad. It just happens to like people hate him. All our receivers do is Carl Rutz. That's it. Shoot. Oh my God, Deontay Johnson. That's you know that was <laughs> that's he, he was doing that. Yep. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, and you know, speaking of the Deontay Johnson, I mean, who's who do you think you know going to be leading the the you know Pitts wide receiver core this year? Man, they're both solid, but I think Pickens is going to take that next step. Okay. He's going to be our wide receiver one this year. I mean, yeah, man. Pickens, man, he might. I mean, I, I don't know, Sherry. What do you think? Pickens gonna be do, making some noise this year, man? Uh, I mean, that's a, I, okay. If we talk about it from a fantasy perspective, that's a guy like I picked and dropped and picked and dropped over and over again. He would have like one good game, and then he would just go missing for like a month. Right. Um, I mean, I, I like, I, I, I don't pay too much attention to Steelers football, but it's second year for Kenny Pickett. Um, as Jug said, you know, they're going to be a little more balanced. I think he'll do better. He, I think he'll make a jump. Is it somebody who's going to, like, win my win me my, a chip in fantasy? I don't know. But I think he'll be better. Yeah, no. I mean, I which round would you think he would be, like, picked from? Like, what round are you thinking? You think oh, my God. Eight? After, after Maybe the defenses eight? and after the kickers. Oh, actually, no. Pickens, no pickens. <laughs> I don't know about oh, that. <laughs> but damn, bro. No, 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 no. 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 I think I saw him. What, what, like, Jug? Would you know? Maybe like eighth round, ninth round. I would say eighth. Yeah. I would say eighth. Yeah, I would say eighth I, round. I yeah. pushed it to tenth, honestly. Ninth. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, see, obviously, we're talking about Pickens here because you know he's not of a, a big of a threat for us. You know, telling our secrets about what we're going to be picking because you know, hey, we Great cannot. Point. But exactly. but Pickens is not a big deal, so we can definitely say what round he's going to because I'm he's definitely now on my radar. Uh, I shall say, but. People are yapping and yapping, and this is a big question, man. B. John Robinson getting picked first round, pick one over JJ and Jamar and all that. Man, what do you guys think about all that, man? You know, it's actually funny. I had a flag football game tonight, and we have two okay. Atlanta Falcons fans on my team. And I asked them that question. I didn't actually know what you were going to ask me this. So I asked them. I was like, yo, what do you guys think about Bijan for fantasy? And both of them seem convinced that he's worth the top five pick. Yeah, I don't know about and that. I mean, if you if for fantasy purposes, like if you want him, you're gonna have to take him in the first round. There's no waiting for him. So like, if you're convinced that he's like the next Saquon or whatever, then you got to take the jump. I mean, see what people see what people are saying, Sherry and Jug is like they're saying like, okay, man, like when Saquon came in his rookie year, man, no one thought he was gonna do blah blah, and he made numbers, crazy numbers, crazy fantasy numbers. Now they're saying that they have the same fate in Bijan, and they're saying this boy might be just a little, you know, a little more better than Saquon. So they're saying, like, man, you know, this dude 
I think you guys should get, you know, because the whole running back situation right now, right? JT's not even in practice, man. He's just chilling at home, eating some Lay's or something like that, right? And, uh, you know, they're saying that this guy is probably one of the only safest RB you can get in, in the first round uh, other than, you know, Derrick Henry and Nick Chubb, blah, blah, blah. But they're saying that, you know, this guy can catch in the backfield too. So that's why a lot of people, I mean, me as well, I do disagree, uh, disagree like you guys. Like, I mean, first pick in, in, in the first round is just ridiculous. But people are doing it, man. And if he comes out and he's against one of us during the season and he's scoring like 35 points and 40 <laughs> points, bro, I'm going to be like, bro, what? You know, I, I read something about like first people, uh, running backs who are drafted like high in the first round. Like apparently – like and I was thinking about I was thinking about thinking back to all the running backs who have been drafted first in recent memory. Apparently, all of them, for the most part, like they end up having pretty good seasons. You know, they got less wear exactly. on the That's body. What, like exactly. Like what do you call? It? Of course, Saquon, Travis Etienne, Kenneth Walker, and like apparently, like the worst guy on that list was like Clyde. And Clyde's mm-hmm. first year was just okay. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, you, yeah. You, it's not like you're gonna be miss with him. Right. But it's like, yeah. can you take him over like Jamar Chase or? Jefferson. Yeah, definitely I, not. I, don't know. I mean, later first round, I'll I'll consider him, but top five, yeah, that's just see. They're saying yeah, like, too much you know, of a reach. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, they're saying like you know he's a young blood, and you know he's coming in fresh, you know, fresh legs, rookie. He's gonna come out and be explosive all of a sudden. But what I see as a problem is that you know who's who, who's behind him? Two dogs, bro. Cordell Patterson and Algier, bro. I mean, dude. I mean, I would understand if he had, like, you know, like I was saying, cornballs behind him, right? He, you know, he'd be like, you know what, man, shoot. It, it might be something, right? Like, okay, first, not even, and still not even, I wouldn't pick him in the first pick, but I'm like, okay, man, like, there's no one behind him, you know, in case they get hurt and stuff. But, bro, Cordell Patterson, bro, Sherry, Jug, how many times did a dude that had Cordell in the last two years beat us badly because of him? And Algier, too. Like, he was showing some stride last year at the end of the season. So I actually completely um, forgot that Cordell Patterson was on that team. <laughs> Yeah, he was yeah, solid bro. last year. Yeah, man, they have a lot of weapons. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I don't know. I mean, and then you know, I don't know. You know, the situation of who's going to be the starting, you know, quarterback in Atlanta, if they even know how to, you know, Des- Desmond Ritter, man. Let's see how he does. He, he's a runner. How he does? Though, so he might. Take he's a runner. Touches. He's a runner. Oh, and yeah, that's another thing. So he might take a lot of touches from, uh, you know. Uh, hey, man, from, think about it. New quarterback. You know, it's his second year, but it might as well be his first year. A lot of dump offs. You know. Safety right. valve, the running back. I yeah. mean, goddamn, full point PPR. Yeah, but what if stuff. Ritter? But sure, what if Ritter comes out and he's try, he starts to be like one of those dudes, like you know, hey man, Downfield. I'm trying to get those numbers, man. Like try to be like Lamar. Hey, I'm trying to chase these numbers. I'm trying to chase these run, rushing touchdowns. Then Bijan Robinson is just a dumb pick in fantasy. Yeah, you got the rushing touchdowns, Kyle Pitts. You know, I mean, I, he got injured last Drake year. He'll London. be back. Drake right. London. You have Drake. It's a lot of weapons right. on that team, honestly. And people, I mean, like like you guys are saying, I mean, if he comes in, see, it would make more sense if the Atlanta had a passing quarterback and then Bijan's behind that. Okay, like this boy gonna eat, right? I mean, I feel like Desmond being there, the way he plays, I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like, you know, he's gonna take some chunk from Bijan's plate for sure. And people talking about, man, uh, Sherry, you, you mentioned uh about um london man they're saying this year's his year bro i don't know it might be man last the year second year out. jump the second year jump you know like, i mean la- i mean in last year yeah he did came the first three four games he's legit and then after that he just kind of fell off but they're saying this year is his year bro. it could be i i hope so like i mean and, yeah. he was co- kind of cooking towards the end of the season Right. He's, I mean, for fantasy Pitts. sake, he was putting up his numbers every game. Like what, seven catches, fifty yard type of games. Like for fantasy, right. low key. Yep. I take that. Right. I'm happy. I'm very happy with that. I mean, Pitts, man, last year was a disappointment, right? And now people are, you know, also talking about him. Uh, you know, being like, you know, hey, this year it's gonna be different. It's actually be he's gonna be what he's really worth. I don't know. I mean, I don't really see that. I mean, I understand the potential is there. And, you know, the first year he came in, he, he put up some numbers and stuff. But I don't know, man. What you guys think? I don't know, man. He still doesn't have a solid quarterback. So until he has someone who's consistently getting him the ball, I don't I don't think he's going to do that well. And I don't know. I don't <laughs> yeah. trust Ritter. So. Yeah. He has, like, what, one touchdown catch in his career so far? Like, it's, really, it's a really low number. 
That's a low. I mean, good. it's not all his fault, of course, but like like Jug said, you know, if he if Ritter can take the next step, great, that'll be awesome, you know. And like like you said, Ritter's a second year quarterback. Isn't the tight end usually like the safety valve? Right. These new quarterbacks, they love to like throw to the tight end or the running, you know, or the running back when they're in danger. So like, he could yeah, eat. He could eat. It's just like how much has he recovered and like right. is we going to go for it? Exactly. I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, <clears throat> Falcons. I mean, it's just you know, obviously, you know, no one really gives them much attention, anyways. But you know, obviously, because of Bijan there, everyone's yapping about them, right? So that's why, you know, things are really coming out about whole, you know, you know. Uh, Ritter and uh, Drake mm-hmm. London. Oh yeah, he's gonna have an mm-hmm. amazing year. Blah blah blah. And the pits too. But I mean, bro, there's a lot of people this year, bro. Like going to different teams, man. Like Hopkins mm-hmm. to you know tight ends, and then you got DJ Moore, you know, moving to uh, to the Bears and all that. So I don't know, man. It's it's I don't know, man. How fancy this year is gonna be? I mean, I do agree that this year is gonna be one of the hardest drafts, bro. It is, yeah. I mean, I'm a guy who loves my running backs. My first two, three rounds are always running backs, but this year I might have to change that. So, I'm uh, writing this down. <laughs> <laughs> I gave too much information. Uh, cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I delete that part, bro. But listen, I mean, I mean, Joe, right, bro? I mean, he doesn't. We don't need to cut anything out because, like, bro, these running backs this year, bro. I mean, they're. I mean, they're all type of jacked up, man. I mean. You know, like you know, like I was saying, JT not coming in, and and all these other you know people are barely getting their their contracts. People are yeah, like you know Eckler tweeting saying, "Hey man, I'm mad about this running back situation." Blah blah blah. I mean, bro, that just kind of puts you like to a point where like man, like these boys are kind of mad and they're playing like they, you know, don't really want to play either because you know they're not getting what they want to get. Right. I mean, everyone loves money, right? They, you, see, back. you guys see that video of Jonathan Taylor on the sidelines at Colts practice? Like, they were like, <laughs> I saw oh, yeah, bro like... literally looked like a 40 year old coach from behind. <laughs> like, he's just, poor guy is just limping around. And now apparently he's not even at the practices anymore. Like, damn. No, bro. he left He left the facility like two days ago. Yeah, so I, my God, bro. And they're saying his return is, is questionable. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of. I mean, JT, bro. I mean, bro. Maybe I don't know he's about just y'all. playing around because he wants his contract. I mean, I hope he gets his. I hope all players get paid. But like, I mean, may, but I mean, damn, they, that was that was a scary ass video. That's probably the most horrifying video I've seen this whole off season. Yeah. I mean, I mean, bro. If he doesn't get paid and we, you know, we're not a draft and he's over there, bro. I mean, bro. I don't know about y'all, but I mean, obviously, I ain't really touching him. You feel me? I mean, it's just it's just too risky, bro. I mean, especially I mean, look, if he came out last year balling, right? Okay, then maybe. Oh, yeah. he struggled last year, though. Man, that boy was a cornball last year, man. I mean, apparently boy... the the injury that he has now is the same ankle too that oh, destroyed okay. him last year. It's just exactly. like, like I shit, I don't know if I could touch him. Period, bro. Like, I mean, look, if his ankle, like you were saying, Sherry, like if his ankle was like kind of hurt like last year, right? You think he's going to play with, you know, health, health, his health like that and not getting paid the way he wants to get paid? No, he's not going to play, man. No, he's yeah, going exactly. to be home. He's going to be home watching, uh, you know, I don't know, Naruto or something like that. You <laughs> feel me? Like, he's just not, not going to play, bro. I mean, because I said Naruto because I know he's You're a fan thinking of, of uh, the team. guy who plays for the Saints now. Oh, no, he, oh, he, oh, no, yeah. he is too. But I, I heard JT was uh, one of those dudes too that like anime. Mm-hmm. And all that. So, so, yeah. So, I mean, hey, I, Brian, I, I was. Uh, they brought in Kareem Hunt for a workout too, so let's see if they oh, sign in. Yeah, is he gonna bro, get signed? Bro. I think no, he's been yet. just flying around everywhere. And I mean, bro, look. If okay, that's a good, nice topic about Kareem Hunt. If he gets signed, bro, this boy, Sherry, come on, year two, come on, bro. Kareem Hunt, what he did for you? I mean, he, he got okay, you so. Look. Yeah, he was like an important piece of the championship that I won, but that was two years ago, and yeah, like I, I was but, watching him last year. Him and Chubb. Right. I mean, yeah, him and Chubb. And like low key, like when he did get some chances, I don't know. He just looks slow. Like but, I, I think mean, at some Kareem point Hunt, I dropped him. So yeah, I wasn't impressed. But the thing is, the thing is, Cream Hunt is Cream Hunt. Like he's one of those you know dudes who just eats potato chips and stuff, right? But he's kind of <laughs> buff like that, right? He's just gonna run. He's just a runner. You feel me? And I have I to see like, like what team he goes to. Exactly. If I mean, he goes look, to like. Like the Patriots or something, because I don't know. They're trying to get a running back. I mean, he had a. Wow. I, they mean, said he had I a don't good know about Patriots, bro. 
I yeah, mean, I think a lot of teams are trying to make offers for him, so maybe he looks good. Maybe my eyes are deceiving me. I mean, if but he goes I to know, the I'm Pace, kinda... I mean, I mean, if he goes to the Pace, bro, Stevenson's there. I mean, I, I don't know about all of that, but if he goes to like a uh, like a running back place, like where there's like not much cornballs there, I mean, Cream Cream Hunt's gonna be Cream Hunt, bro. I mean, he's the talent is still there, stuff like that. The name is still there, and I think if he's in a good situation, bro, he might be a baller in fantasy this year, honestly. If Colts he started would be good, if he ended up in the Colts, like that's fine. But then, like the other team is the the Saints. Like, can you imagine him, yeah, Williams, Taysom Hill, Alvin Kamara after three weeks? And apparently, they drafted a rookie who was really high up too. That's way too many right. cooks in the kitchen. All right, yeah, I, I agree. I agree with that. I definitely agree. Um, but I mean, I mean, hopefully, Sherry, you just don't draft Greg Joseph this year, bro. <laughs> oh my God, Greg <laughs> Joseph, man! Holy hell! Bro, he doesn't have a job apparently. Oh, I think he's yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say matter good. Fact, I, don't, I don't want people to lose their jobs or anything. But damn, man! One, Hold on, let me see. Let me see, point, bro. I know what you're I talking about. You talk about the game where he had one point for me, and he missed <laughs> oh, two fifty-yard field goals. I, I'm not saying that's easy or anything. It's definitely very hard. But like one point, and it could have been eleven, the, and it cost me the whole week. Oh man, Greg, I, I was man. I was with I was with Heather, man. I was steaming that. <laughs> wait, wait, check this out. Born in South Africa. Oh, Interesting. there. Okay, Interesting. see now I can hate. Now I can hate him. So you know his, fam- <laughs> very, his family. Very, his family is probably incredibly racist. Very interesting, bro. Born in South Africa, and is still with the Vikings. So I guess he's still there. Oh, he's still there. Kicker, man. He's a decent oh, yeah. kicker. It's just, it was just that one week. Like there was another I week mean, where I'm pretty sure he scored like. Two, I mean, kickers are random, but like I'm sure he scored like what 26 points in a week. I mean, bro, his longest field goal made was 61 yards, and he's 76 for 91. So I don't know. I mean, eighty three point five field field goal percentage. I mean, I guess, but yeah, I mean, it's not did. bad. I mean, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. No, I'm not. I mean, it's just a one game. Let me not hate on him too much. What, man, what do you think about random. What, what do you think about these kickers, though, man? I mean, you know, you know, some people uh-huh. try to argue that there shouldn't even be kickers in fantasy, which is ridiculous to me. Like, no, man, kickers are like half half the fun. Like every week, you go find a new kicker, and like, oh, this guy's in a dome. Oh, this guy. Yeah, what do you It's know? raining in Carolina, so I can't get this guy. And like, they're, yeah. are they like the highest score? Every every NFL team's highest scoring player is a kicker, like in their history. I mean, so like, how can you remove that from fantasy? No way. Yeah, Joe, what do you think about that? We can't remove him, man. I mean, kickers. I mean, kick, watch, yeah. man. You never, you never know. I mean, you might get oh, two definitely. points. You might get ten points, twelve points. It's just, it's a fun. No. Uh, yeah, definitely. I, I definitely think kickers, man. It's, it's the thing that really gets you drawn in the TV, man. Like sometimes it's like, man, you just watch it, right? Sure, you doing the, your goggle thing. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I do you, my, kick, I do my kicking in real life. These are my, these <laughs> are my like, coworkers. I'm it makes, telling uh, you, so watching field goals and everything fun too, because you don't know what's gonna happen. Exactly. exactly. I mean, if we exactly. don't have kickers, then I mean, it's so many games are decided up. on freaking field goals. Like you have to count that in fantasy too. Like, I'm telling you, like imagine being in this chip and you're three points away or four points. Dude makes a fifty yarder, you win the chip, bro. That's that's something, bro. That's you know what's crazy something. on ESPN, the you know, the app that we play. If they kick right. a sixty yard field goal for some reason, they don't give you six points. They only give you five. Oh, really? Yeah, and there's no oh, setting yeah, yeah. to change it either. Oh yeah, I did. I, that is true. I, mean, I remember because somebody will score a sixty-yard field goal, and then like I don't know, they'll be like, "Hey, uh, Sherry, uh, can you change this?" Like he kicked a six. I'm like, "Wow, like, what do you want me to do about it?" <laughs> oh yeah, he, you know that is a good question because you know obviously touchdowns being six points and kicking kicking a sixty-yard is kind of like man, like wow, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I mean, yeah, I think they should change it to six. I mean, what's the chances that they were gonna make a sixty? It's very low, but I mean, obviously, if, you know, obviously, if, if a kicker does do that, man, I mean, I mean, I think you should get an award, at least get six points for a sixty yarder. I would say. Yeah, I agree, hundred percent. I mean, and, and that's where it comes to, like, you know, obviously, like Chris Tucker, uh, what's his name, uh, no, Justin yes. Tucker. <laughs> I, I said, I said Chris Tucker, like Justin Tucker, right? I mean, if you, I mean, if you drafted him, and let's say ESPN did change. Uh, the scoring for kickers were six, six yard or six points. I mean, hey, man, I mean, Chris Tucker, uh, Chris Tucker, again. <laughs> uh, freaking Justin Tucker, man, you might you might need to draft him a little early, bro. You never know. I drafted him early last year, man. He was my yo, six, our league. Somebody seven people reached kick. kickers in our league, and I don't know why I did that. I'm never gonna do it again because other kickers were scoring just as many points as him. He Wait, was Jug, Jug, when did you draft him? I think it was like the sixth, I uh, no, uh, eighth or ninth round. I think eighth oh. round, uh, yeah. What? 
I was like, all right, I'm I'm Yo, Sherry, I remember that, bro. I think I now I know why Joe finished so low last year. I think yeah, I remember was, that. I remember that. But but the thing is, my... but thing is, look once again, like okay, like let's say they did change it to six point thing, and you draft. Okay, look, I wouldn't do an eight, but like I do ten or something like that, or eleven. And if that thing was in play, the new rule, I mean, I'd probably think twice about it, but it's not a bad deal. I would say. Yeah. Because just I'm never, never, never going to do that again. <laughs> I mean, Tucker be making those 60 yarders, bro, look easy, bro. But at the end of the day, if they do that, it's just one extra point. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's like, I'd rather take well, a wide, I'd rather take George Pickens in the eighth round than a kicker. <laughs> I mean, bro, we we all been champions, bro. I mean, one point can mean a lot, bro. That's true. Well, sometimes that one point can always haunt us, bro. It happened many times in front of our eyes. Thankfully, it didn't happen to us, none of us yet. But, I mean, a lot of people, man, I mean, they cried to sleep because of that one point, bro. You feel me? But um, but yeah, man, this year is gonna be interesting, man. I just can't wait, bro. Thirteen more days until our draft and the FFL, man. Like, Excited, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna run a mock draft right after this. Well, yeah, I never I mean, do. Bro, I, I never do any mock drafts at all. Really, so John? That's so interesting. Day, uh, like two, three days before, I'll do my research. I'll come up to the drafts and I'll just draft. I don't even do a mock mm. draft. I don't see the point man. of them because I mean no one ever drafts the same in our, our league. So. That's true. People, yeah, I know you're right about that, Jug. Yeah, I mean they don't. I mean I really, I mean I was never a mock draft guy either, but um, because it's just like you know, everyone sometimes people are just trolling in those mock drafts and all that. But I mean it's definitely gonna be interesting to see, um, you know, obviously what's gonna happen um in the draft and obviously you know we we got dogs in in our league. And uh, you know it's gonna be interesting, man. I mean, but for me, I'm I'm gonna be the twelfth pick. Uh, shoot, man, it's it's it can be good or bad. It can be two different. It can be two things. I mean, I'm you trying got to back to back pick, so that's good. A lot of waiting, I, I think, though. Lots of waiting. Like nine. I don't even know what to do there. Oh yeah, oh, I, was, that's I was tough. That yeah, is. so Jug, you are actually yeah you you are the ninth pick and uh, share you are the sixth pick number six. Six is solid. You're right in the middle. So. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not like overly upset. Jug, actually, I hate to say it. I think you have like yeah, the I have one of the area. worst picks. Yeah, yeah. At least Heather gets back to back with twelve. Like damn, nine. Ugh. Even no, in your I, league, I think I'm I'm like maybe like fifth or fourth. It's or our like league, Jug. Our league. No, <laughs> our league. Yeah. It's out. Oh yeah, yeah. Hourly, yes, yes. Hourly, yes. And um, you know, obviously, I always gotta ask this question. Um, you know, obviously, you know, we all, you know, we got dogs in our league, right? Um, Sherry, first I have to go with you. Who do you think is gonna win the FFL year four? Hmm. I mean, it's hard. To, uh... I mean, should I just say me? Like, yeah, I'm gonna I mean, win the damn it. Like, you gotta damn, be confident, I'm man. All, I'm doing all my research. Like, right. I, I, I'm gonna learn from the mistakes that I made last year. You know, right? I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be in my playbook, and right. yeah, it's gonna be me. And there's just gonna okay. be no contest about That's it. That's fine. That's good. I'm gonna say myself, Joe. You're gonna say yourself. But the thing is, you have, you cannot, you're not playing yourself in the chip. You're playing one guy. You have to pick that one guy. Oh, so you're that, saying that my, okay? Now, who do you, you think? Will be uh, the loser in the chip, but will be one of the one of the top players this year in FFL against you in the chip. You Sherry, know, first I, you go. If we're gonna go and we're gonna talk about your league here, there are two very scary people. All right. One of them, is, and remind me if I'm getting this right. His name is Ibrahim, right? Yes, sir. The Mr. guy who Abuse brought his buddy to the draft. Abusement I mean, Park. That's it. The way he, yeah. Oh, yeah. Abusement Park. Yeah, like the way he drafted last year, like he goes for home run hit- hitting type players, players who will score you 30 points. Like I remember he had McCaffrey and Saquon on the same team last year. He took a big risk. He's a big right. risk guy, but he goes for the points. He doesn't play it safe. You'll never see him try to draft like like the Hunter Renfros of the world who will give you 11, 12 points. Like he aims for the fences. He's a very scary player. He, he, he knows his stuff. He does his research. I am very worried about him. And, and then, of course, I got to give a shout out to Mr. Connor. Always, oh, again, go. like I remember, the, I remember the year uh, Amonra St. Brown like became like a thing. Connor was the guy who made that free agency pickup. Like, you know, he keeps right. his eye on these things. Um, 
I know he's a he's a Jets fan, right? But he doesn't let that oh, blind yeah. him. I, he doesn't like, oh, I have to have uh, I have to have all the receivers. Like I have to have Braxton right, right. Berrios, and I have to have Aaron Rodgers. Right. Like no, he doesn't let the fandom blind him. And like he always has high scoring right. teams. I think he'll right. do it again. Those two guys. Perfect, perfect, Sherry. I mean, the, those are uh, you know great um, you know players in our league, and I think Burley Boys, you know, are, you know, you know, obviously has the best record uh, with all uh, you know four uh, three years in the FFL. So uh, you know, I definitely uh, think that as well. But Jug, who do you think, man? You're in the chip, and one guy against or second guy, two guys or one guy. Who do you think will be against you? In the chip, that ass exactly what Sherry said. That was my two choices: Connor and then uh, Abraham, or Abraham okay. Ab- uh, Ibizman Park. Yeah, right. Yeah, man. They they both know what they're doing. Connor, I can already tell, like just the way he drafts. I mean, he doesn't even talk to anyone. He stays in his <laughs> corner and just he stays in his yeah, corner. No, bro. Oh, I wait. know Connor, bro. I know. Oh, oh, oh. I, I was like, where did Joe go? Okay, <laughs> okay. No, bro. Connor, bro, I know this dude when I was like, we were little kids around schoolyard, bro, like ever since sixth grade. That's a trick he does, bro. He doesn't try to, he doesn't try to talk to nobody, bro. But he, he be slick, bro. He try to be, he try to see, he be watching your eyes, bro. Like, hey, man, what's everyone peeping at? But yeah, yeah I, I mean, I remember when we uh, drafted that con kebab, man. We were all at a one table and Connor was in a separate table. Oh, yeah. The rest, bro. I was oh, like, man, this guy is I forgot about, about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that, bro. I was like, I remember that. I mean, I know he, I mean, dude, I mean, for me, bro, this year, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, I'm not going to, you know, be, you know, abuse from park. I'm not going to disrespect your game or anything, but, you know, even though you went to the chip last year and uh, obviously abuse, but I got to tell you the bad news. I mean, you lost. Who won? The guru, the <laughs> Raja. It's two times in the FFL chip. One time he lost against me, obviously. And then second time he won, though. So this year, I mean, two players that I have my goggles on, like Sherry, you say, is... Obviously, Burley Boys, Connor, but also, man, the guru, man, Raja, man. I got my eyes on him. He always has something. Uh, some di- He has a different playbook, man, like something that you, me, Sherry, Jug, we don't have. He has a different type of playbook. He comes to a draft with a different mindset. And I think, man, the guru, man, I mean, the oldest in our league, the veteran, um, I think he might be one of the dudes that could definitely be in the chip against me again. A, a year one rematch or it can definitely be connor so i think those two guys man are definitely going to be uh at least top four this year in ffl man the ancient definitely. wisdom well, yeah, yeah, Ra- roger's solid too man is is um wasn't, airplane he planning on coming, wasn't he planning on getting drunk at the draft yeah that's though? what i was saying i think i think i gotta let I, I, I we gotta let the viewers know man this boy man look the first guy that was at the crib, right? I come, I come park my car. He, I was even at the crib yet before he. Bro, showed I was there before you guys. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, you was too. You was too. Um, and I pulled up, and Jugs, uh, uh, and and Raja was like, "Hey man, take me to the ABC store." I'm like, "Bro, what? I said, well, what's wrong with you, bro? We gotta drive. You gotta have a clear mind." He said, "Man, I'm trying to get a clear mind right now. My mind ain't clear." I said, "All right, bro." So I took him, and and uh, we went, and he got like two both of them, man, like two bottles. And he's like, man, can I take it in the crib? I said, bro, listen, bro. I mean, listen, man. You know, some of these casts, man. I mean, you know, I, I'm not trying to hear this at the end of the draft, uh, you know, end of the year. Oh, man, I, I lost because I was drunk. I need to, you know, uh, you know, we need to redo something or whatever, right? I don't want to hear all that. So I was like, bro, if, I, if you got it, you got to finish it right now. This boy chugged both of them. And this boy was straight normal, bro. Like, he didn't see nothing. Like, this boy was still straight. Like, it's just in the Punjabi blood. You know what I'm saying, Jeff? So <laughs> this boy was straight. He comes in, sitting in the sofa uh, with Mr., you know, those two guys that I said. Mr., uh, you know, Connor and Roger, both on the sofa together. And uh, this boy drafted while being, you know, hyphy. And uh, boy won. I mean, bro, I mean, shit. yeah, he won, um, man. What else can you say? How can you hate against that? I actually forgot that uh, that was this year. He won. We got to yeah, follow in his footsteps, man. It I'm not going to quit. I remember when he drafted Kenneth Walker, bro. I started laughing. I don't know if y'all remember. I started laughing. Like, Yo, 
Roger, man, I think it's getting to you down. This boy is this, Jaffa, before, is this before or after Brian Robinson got shot? Oh, this is that's a good question. That's a very good question, but I'm not really sure when. But he did he did draft him, and I started laughing. I was like, bro, I think it's getting to you now. And that's one of the dudes that really carried him last year, bro. I, mean, bro, I didn't bro, even that know too, about him, Kenneth Walker. So yeah, I'm like, shout bro, out Kenneth, to him. Yeah, no, yeah, that like, was an unknown. I'm like, bro, I'm like, Roger, what what the heck, bro? Why you pick this dude like you know in like a seventh round, bro? You crazy? I mean, I I didn't want to. Dude, let people know that boy was hypey, but I'm like, Roger, man, you're straight. And that's the dude bro, I've been scoring 15, 20 points per game for him. And one was his one of his prime players that took him to the chip, man, and won. So, hey, man, this year, I can't wait to see you guys within two weeks. And, you know, we're going to have our goggles on and all of that, prescription glasses, what have you, you know, contact lenses. And uh, we're going to be ready to go, man. So definitely, man. It's nice chopping, chopping up with you guys. You know, obviously, we can't tell too much secrets. Oh, yeah. But, no. um, it's hard to talk to you guys about this yeah, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's the way we said it. We were kind of sugarcoating everything, which is good, yeah, right? Yeah. But, uh, man, Jug, man, and Sherry, good luck to you guys this year in the FFL. She, uh, see you guys within two weeks. And everyone else on YouTube, subscribe uh, to our channel. We got a lot of podcasts with NFL players and coaches coming up. Hey, man, we keep it real. We keep it raw and uncut, man. That's how we do it, man. There it is. Stay tuned. <laughs>